everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Jessica here today with two very easy, very cute Valentine's Day DIYs. So we are just going to hop right in here. I got a mess here, if you can see it, I apologize, but <laughs> we need a bunch of stuff going. We have a lot of stuff going on, I mean. So we are just going to be taking one of these really cute wooden signs with like the little slats here. There's four different ones and it has the wooded beads here on the top. And we are just going to paint. Now, I picked this. All of my paint is from Walmart. It's the Apple Barrel Paint. And I have Pink Parfait. And I have Red Apple. I have the Basic White. And I have a black here. We are going to be mixing the black with the white to make like a gray color that I want to use because I don't have gray apparently. So <laughs> we'll be mixing that together just for the color. Um, so what I want to do here is dig through my basket here and get some paint brushes out. And we're going to try some of the ones that, um, that I have left over so I'm hoping that they at least work pretty good all right so what I am going to do here I'm just going there's four little slats here so I'm going to just paint them the different colors so we are going to start with I think we're going to do white pink gray and red and that is where we are going to start there. So super easy so far. I do just want to take like a smaller paintbrush here because in all honesty, I don't feel like taping these things off. So to get around the edges here, I'm just going to use a smaller paintbrush and hopefully a steady hand <laughs> to get in here. Because I don't want to paint the outside. I kind of want to leave the frame like this really pretty wooden color. So that is all we are going to do is just paint our little four sections here. Now you can obviously choose whatever colors suit you and your uh, creativity. These are the colors that I'm just choosing to use. I could probably use a little bit of a bigger paintbrush here. Um, <laughs> but so... I showed you the four colors that I'm going to use. Again, I'm just going to be mixing the black and the gray together, the black and the gray, the black and the white together to make a really pretty gray color. And just go along here and paint your four sections. So I'm just going to do that quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have it all painted. Painted the beads as well to match the colors on the board itself. So the last thing, very easy peasy that we're going to do is, I, oh, I just burnt my hand. Um, I bought this sign here from the Dollar Tree. So it's just a plain back, has this little metal tin sign here. It says you and me with a little bow. It's just hot glued on there. So we are just going to pop that right off. That easy. And we're just going to take our hot glue, put it right here where the hot glue was. And we're gonna stick it right there in the middle and we are done. Like how stinking fast and easy is this? So just throw in a little bit there. Finding our center and just letting that cool for a second or two. Just like that. And then you have this gorgeous new hanging side which I will hang up so you can see it but that is it and it's so easy so simple and so quick and you have your own new little decor piece that is just beautiful so at the end of this video I will hang this up so you can see it better and we're gonna hop right into the next one okay so next up we just have this wooden little envelope looking hanging sign of course obviously from the Dollar Tree and we are going to paint and make this pretty as well. And we're going to get into a little bit of glitter here today too. So super excited. I think I'm going to change like what I had in my, in my mind at first. Because I think we're going to do like a darker color. Because we have a lot of like pink and red 
Um, <clears throat> I kind of want to change it up just a little bit. And I actually think I'm going to paint the background of this black. And I'm hoping that it does um, give me the effect that I'm looking for because I need a paintbrush. Um, because <laughs> we're gonna have to get into all these little teeny tiny crevices so I'm gonna need a couple of like smaller paint brushes to be able to get into there pretty good so we will use a couple different ones more than likely I am just using oh there's my Swedish fish I'm having a snack um <laughs> we are using what was I saying oh jet black the apple barrel jet black here and we're just going to have to move this guy around, but it's going to be, I'm hoping in my mind that this is going to turn out um, how I'm thinking. I just think that it's going to make the love part here stick out and like kind of jump out at you. If we do it like a dark black color or a dark color here as the background, that's at least what I'm hoping for. So... We're just going to paint along the word. Now, the good thing about it, too, is when we're doing the dark color is if you look like along the edges here of the word, they're dark already. So if you happen to get any paint on it, you're not even going to notice, which is going to make this painting job so much easier because I struggled with the beads on the last one because oh, I was lazy and decided not to take them off the rope. I decided to paint them while they were still on the rope, which was a little bit of a pain in the tushy. But we survived here, didn't we? <laughs> if you want to make it a little bit easier on yourself, you could just remove that rope with the, ooh, with the beads on it and paint the the little beads individually it's probably save you a little bit of hassle and a little bit of paint all over you like I am here but but we are just going to go all around this and we are going to cover this in black we're going to do the inside the same way we are going to do the outside here the same and uh this is just going to be I love doing really simple DIYs because um, I know I've mentioned I've been doing it for about a year now a little over a year so the simple ones make my life so much easier and I feel like um, <laughs> that I do a good job I challenge myself from time to time here sometimes I take I love See, trying to get a bigger paintbrush and a smaller section isn't that smart. Um, I love doing these because it's just so simple. And everything, I think, at least comes out so beautifully. And it doesn't take a ton. Like, it just makes it so much fun. Like, sometimes I have made crafts in the past that have like stressed me out <laughs> like seriously stressed me out so I love these you know here's another because see beginner mindset right here this is hot glued on you could probably heat that up and pop that right off and paint it and put it back on to be very honest to you um <laughs> excuse me so it looks to me as if it's hot glued on there. So yeah, you could probably heat that up and pull that right off. We're actually gonna try that. Hold on one second. Okay, so I tried it, it failed. Um, <laughs> so maybe you'll have better luck. I don't know, I just kept going with like this little angled brush here and got the best that I can. Now, you'll see, I got some spots on there. It's going to be perfectly fine because you won't even see them. But I did try. Um, <laughs> it just didn't work for me. But it may work for you. 
I mean, I took my little heat gun here and held that on there for quite some time and it was not budging. And then I was kind of afraid that I would end up breaking it. So we just had to tough that one out there and keep painting. <laughs> so I won't make you sit here and watch me paint this whole thing. But so you get the gist here. We are just going to completely paint this black except for the front word here. We're gonna leave that alone. But I'll just finish up this side and then I will finish this off camera for you. Just getting all the little crevices here. It's a little different. Not your traditional colors, but I think this is gonna be super cute. Okay, so we're just gonna finish this up and I'll be right back. Okay, so it is all painted black. We are done with that part. Now we're going to take some Mod Podge. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry guys. <coughs> it's like I feel bad that you have to deal with that because I just <coughs> cough constantly. Let me take a drink real quick. Okay. So we're going to take some Mod Podge. This is the stuff that I get at the Dollar Tree. This is what it looks like. And we are just going to take a smaller paintbrush, take our Mod Podge, and we're going to go all over the top of this word. Don't need a ton, just enough to make it wet and cover, <coughs> excuse me, and cover the word. I'm probably getting paint all over me. Um, <laughs> So that is it. We're just going to kind of work fast through this part. So we don't want it to dry dry. We want it to be wet. And of course it's in, you know, cursive here. So we got to go all around. That's why I said it's okay if you got some paint on this. Because we're just going to cover that right up. So just continuing to go around the word love with our Mod Podge, trying to only get it on the top of this word. So you can kind of put it on a little thicker if you want, just because of the drying. It takes just a minute to go through the entire word. And this is the part where I'm like, Oh, with the dark background, like this is going to pop so nice. You can fast forward this part if you would like, because <laughs> I know it's taking me a minute, but I just don't want to reach up and pause because I'm trying to work a little quick with it because we don't want it to dry too much. Okay, I'm actually just going to kind of go over the very beginning just a tad. Make sure that we're still good. Oh my goodness, depart. And then after you get it covered, we are gonna go ahead and take our red glitter that I got from the Dollar Tree as well. We're gonna open this up and we are just going to shake, shake, shake right over top. Now the paint's dry so it will come right off of there but we are just going to cover this word here. So we got that covered and we are just going to shake, shake, shake. I'm going to shake over here. Now you'll be able to see some spots that are possibly missing some Mod Podge in which a little bit did, but that is perfectly fine. We are just gonna take our paintbrush, go back in those little spots there, dump more glitter, and it'll cover just fine. Okay, so there it is. And just look at that glitter. I love it. I know I have been taught a tip, and there's this one guy that works at the one dollar tree I go to all the time, and I love him to pieces. He tells me. Every time I buy anything with glitter to spray it with hairspray so the glitter doesn't fall off. So we will do that just to prevent any more fallout. 
And this is where we are just going to take, I gotta clean this glitter mess up here in a minute, some flowers or other cute Valentine's Day stuff that we can find at the Dollar Tree. And I got a whole bunch of different stuff here. We got some flowers, we got some hearts in pink, some hearts in red, some littler hearts, and we are just going to cut some of those up and stuff them in and just fill this. And then I'm gonna hang it up and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so there it is hung up. Now I just put some flowers, some hearts in there. You could obviously pick and choose from all the fabulous stuff that they do have at the Dollar Tree of how you want to fill it. But, oh, so cute, right? So I definitely love the black. I love the glitter, the red glitter. I do think it makes it just like pop and it just looks so pretty. Super cute, right? So again, different colors, different stuff to put inside. It's completely up to you, style, taste, you know all that. Um, just a general idea, but I am super excited how this came out. And I will take this one down and put up the other one we did. Okay, so here is the other one we did today. How stinking cute. Now, oh, I love it. I do have a glare on there. I'm trying not to with the light to see if it... Oh, I'm going to drop the light. Um, that helps you see it a little bit better. But I love this. I am just super excited about how easy and how super, super adorable this is. And I hope you do too. But thank you for crafting with me today. And I will see you tomorrow for a Dollar Tree haul. So until next time, bye now.